anyways, what I do is, so like I'm doing the paradox, I normally have this with the paradox, I put it in here, and then once I have it in there, I go through there, and then I take this, and I just wipe everything down with the mop. You know, and I try to get as best I can, it's hard with the mop, you know. You do the top as well? Yep, I do, I do the top as well, I do the, the bar, the hooks, anything that I have normally in there, I would paradox with the you know, glass, even this use, I, I use this with the mop, and I'll wipe the sleeves down. And you can, you'll do that with the alcohol? Yeah, and I can do that. So then after I do that, and then normally then I would wipe this all down, this down, this down, my card down. By the time that is done, that's been sitting for at least a minute or so. It needs I will, to sit, the paradox needs to sit for a minute. Yeah, a minute or, yeah, a minute or two. Once I get that done, then I figure this in it. And you can tell because it kind of has a glazy look with the Paradox. And then once I do that, then I go back, change out this, put my alcohol in it. So what I would do is just put my alcohol in here, like that. And I don't bring this whole thing because it's just kind of bulky. Mm -hmm. I kind of... I need to start like this. And I just kind of go like this. White. Like I normally would with my arm. And I try to, you know, get around the... Maybe hook it out a little bit. Granted, I don't have anything else in here. Right. <clears throat> like this. And then I go like this. And then I kind of go to the sides. These get a little tricky because there's a lot of grooves and bumps. I'll do the glass. Up here. Then I will do the other side. That's done, then I do the surface. So would you have pulled the mat out? I would have had the mat out, out. yeah. I would have had the mat out. And I just go like this, right? I go all the way <coughs> down. Right. And then when I'm done with that, then what I do is I usually pull this off. And I usually do this. Wipe the, the bar. Wipe. Each hook. And I did, the, and I I've already done all this with the paradox. Right. Okay. Same way, just with paradox. Like this. This will come off. And then we have this in here for bubbles. If there's bubbles, we can kind of knock them a little bit. Okay. Do I wipe it down? Do that. Then I take it and I wipe my sleeves, go all around. So usually one application of alcohol gets you through because you haven't had to go back and yeah, get because it. I've yeah, you, it, it goes a long ways. Okay. The alcohol On does. Those pads, yeah, those yeah. Like oh yeah, they 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 stay wet. They're just like really they soak. And it also depends on how much alcohol you put in the bucket, too. Okay. And then what I do is I just go like this. Okay. Like the glass. So what's good about this is there's no contact. Like, I'm not got my, you know... I, I have done it where I pop this thing open and just manually do it by hand. Yeah. But you're also risking of exposing everything. Yeah, they don't recommend that, I don't think, for the negative yeah. ones. Yeah. 
so this that's why this mop works really good. It's very easy to use. So after I've done that, and then granted, I do wipe that anti chamber. <coughs> I do the anti chamber as well, the same cool. way. And I'll every show time, you. every day. Yep, every day. Okay. And I'll show you that too. I'll put this back on. And normally, so like normally, I would do the anti chambers, then do this room, and then when this room is done, I take this and I just throw it down here. Okay. That way, it doesn't come out here at all. Same with the Paradox one. Okay. 